Good morning, YouTube. My name is Michael, and behind the camera is Ellie. We are the bill paying hobbyists. Today, we have three hacks and one comparison to do for packing when you're going on a vacation trip or even if you work and you travel a lot. So, let's get to it. So, the first one, we're going to do a comparison between folding and rolling your clothes when you're packing. For me, when I travel, I generally travel four days a week. Uh, this week, I'm only traveling three. This is the backpack I use for my clothes. It's a roller bag and a backpack, the straps are in there, and then my regular backpack over there for my computer and stuff. So as you can see, this is not very big, but I can get all of my clothes in one. The first thing you wanna do, always, if you take tennis shoes, if you work out while you travel, uh, put your shoes in a bag or get some shower caps or something of that nature, and you can put the shower caps over the bottom of your shoes. Your shoes are dirty on the bottom, always. Put them in a bag. I put mine in separate bags. What's up, buddy? You helping daddy pack? I put mine in separate bags so I can separate them because I use the center of my bag. I put these on the outside and use the center of my bag for my clothes. So there, that's out of the way. Now, first we're gonna fold and see if we can fit all of this in here and see how much room we have left. And then we'll take it all back out and roll it. So one other tip that I do know, put your underwear and your socks in your shoes. There's a lot of empty space right there. This isn't part of the comparison part, this is a little hack for you. Throw your underwear in there, take your socks, and throw them in there. There, you just save some space. So you wanna put the smaller items in there, so let's pick, uh, let's see here, we got some workout shorts. We'll fold those. So there's all of my stuff. Now, that is packed. Now there's one more thing I need to put in there and that is my shaving kit. And that'll go right there on top, kind of full. Let's close it up. So now let's see how thick that is. And we're gonna go to this right here. And we're yeah, nine and a half inches, almost 10 inches. All right, so let's take everything out. We'll roll it and we'll check that one. Done, now let's measure that one. So the same pocket, we're eight and a half, nine inches. So I just saved an inch, which means I can put even more in here by rolling up my clothes. So to me, rolling is a lot better. It saves more space. So I prefer this way. It also leaves some extra room for my bubble jacket because I, when I travel up north, I need something that's heavy and those bubble jackets are awesome. It's not a heavy jacket at all, but it keeps the wind and it keeps the cold out. It works awesome. Half the time, I don't even have to wear my gloves or my beanie cap. I love it. Thank you, Ellie, by the way. Yeah. So Ellie said she found another way to pack and fold up your clothes so that Supposedly, you don't get any wrinkles in your shirts. That would save me some time too. Now let's test that one out and we'll throw that one in here for you. So we're gonna try that one. Uh, this one actually calls for your underwear and socks to go in the center of your shirt. You pick a t-shirt that you go in and I'm going to use two t-shirts because I like to keep my socks and underwear in the core of my shoes. And we're gonna get to this one in a second. I'll do that last and show you how that works. First thing you wanna do is lay out your shirts. If you have a jacket, you would lay out your jacket first. I don't carry a jacket like that. I like to keep my jacket out in case I need it. So I'm gonna use one of my shirts as a base and it lays out upside down. Lay your sleeves out. And then you're gonna take another shirt and lay it out opposite and keep it close together like that so that your sleeves lay out almost together so that they're a little bit of crisscross. And then you'll do the same thing with the next shirt and lay it like the jacket was originally, like this. So you have it just like that. So I'm gonna do another shirt. I gotta do this first. Let's do this one. These shorts can go in here as well. Put those right there in the center. And then you lay out your jeans alternating one this way 
and one this way. And then now you start with your core. So we come back to our core. This will be my core in here in the center. You bring this over and tuck it really tight. You wanna keep your core as small as possible. Fold that over, bring this one over. And then fold it. And now we're gonna start wrapping our clothes over in a core. So we're gonna roll that. That's my core. And the next one. And what's this, what this is doing is it's providing you a base for your shirts to help keep them from being wrinkled. There's that. And then I can use this one to bring over here. Mine's a roller bag, so let's see. Doesn't really take up any more space. I wonder if it will keep my clothes less wrinkled. It's about the same as folding, a regular fold, nine and a half, ten 10 inches. We'll just have to see if it keeps my clothes from being wrinkled. The first hack we wanted to do was for carrying your liquid products with you. We found this one and we tried it. It's using straws to carry your shampoo, your soap, what other liquids you have. It's a nice little, very small container. They can't get you on the three ounces for that. Basically what you do is you melt the ends and then you put your liquid in there and then melt the other end, seals it off, and then you have a small travel, maybe one use, um, container for your liquids. Our idea, we were thinking, since these straws have the little flexi thing on them, we were gonna melt the end so that they go together. And then you could put conditioner on the bendy side and your shampoo on the other side and be done with it. Or body wash and shampoo, whichever you use, however you use your products. Only problem is, for us, this is what we ran into. When you go to melt it with a straw or with a lighter, it just curls up. It doesn't stay together. We tried folding it over. Uh, I tried using the stove and every time we did it, it either didn't work or it opened back up. I tried using my soldering iron with tin foil, too hot, melted through it. Um, it just, it didn't work for us. It could be our straws, I don't know. You can try it at home, try it your way, maybe it'll work for you. So for us, this is full of water. We were testing it to see how much it would, see if it would leak and you can see it didn't hold. Um, for us, this is whacked. So. so here's what we tried. We got the straw and a lighter. And when I light this, the straw just seems to want to curl back. Because if I get it hot enough, we can try to do this and get it to melt together. It doesn't ever stay. So again, it could be just the straw. Don't know. And then try it this way. I put the tin foil over the burner just to keep from getting plastic on my burner. That might actually work. So this one might actually worked what I just did here by doing this. We will test to see if it leaks. One second. I'm gonna cut this end off. And I have a pipette, some water in it. Didn't leak, got the water out of it. Let's see if I squeeze it, if it opens up. So that worked. So this is kind of difficult. The other thing I tried, a little screwdriver. Kind of press it on there. That did nothing but melt the entire straw. It may just be the straws that we have, it just doesn't really work. Anything is too hot and it's more of a, it seems to be, to me, more of an aggravation than anything when there's easier ways to do it. The straw more tends to curl up than anything. 
I think this was a fluke. I just got lucky and it worked on that end. I couldn't get the other end to do it because as you saw, I got a water shooter. Shoot your stream of water pretty far. Okay, for hack number two and three, uh, keep in mind we're not sponsored by any of these products, so we're gonna move forward from there. Hack two and three, find you some bottles that are less than three ounces because you're not, if you have nothing but carry on luggage, you're not gonna be able to carry these huge bottles on the plane with you. They're just not gonna let you do it. Even if you have check bags, you don't need this much stuff unless you're going on a year long vacation. Get you small travel bottles. Put your stuff in there, mark them, three for conditioner, one for body wash, two for your shampoo. If you don't have small containers, you don't wanna go buy containers. Remember these? We made these out of bottle caps and we cut them off at the neck and you have a container that can hold whatever you need. This one will hold only one item, but this one we put a piece of plastic in the center and I have two separate compartments to put my stuff in. So I can take this one and I can put some of my body wash in here. And then I'll need to write body wash on that side. And then this one, I can put my shampoo in there. And that's done. Now I don't have the convenience of being able to squeeze a little bit in my hand, but you know, I can just dip my finger in there and good to go. And then for this one, And now I can take these and put them in my shaving kit and I'm good to go. Don't take up a lot of space. Excellent. Now, hack number three. A lot of times these containers don't seal properly or they get a lot of pressure on them because they get squeezed, you shove them in there, you try to pack as much stuff as you can in a bag and they will leak. So this one is pretty simple. Take the cap off, get you a little piece of saran wrap, Put it over the top. Screw your lid back on. And cut the excess off out of the way. I would not try to get this super clean and cut all this off here. You wanna remember that's there because when you get to where you're going, you wanna be able to take it off. Don't forget that it's there. So you're basically adding yourself another little seal. If you want to make it a little bit cleaner, cut it off beforehand, make it a square, put it on there, screw that on. You have an extra seal. It's almost like putting an O-ring in there and now they're not going to leak. I mean, unless you really squeeze them and you squeeze them so hard, you're probably going to break the plastic anyway. And that is hack number four to keep your containers from leaking. Let's close this out. For our packing hacks, we had the actually a comparison between fold rolled and then the box, basically a box. They call it a, I think he called it a luggage burrito or a clothes burrito. Um, we found that rolling up the clothes was actually saving you some room. Uh, we're going to test out the folding uh, into a burrito to see if that keeps my shirts from being wrinkled. We'll know later. They all worked pretty well, but rolling again, save the most amount of space. For our hacks, we had hack number one that was a straw. So you melt the ends and you can put your liquids in here. I'm gonna say it's completely whacked. I couldn't get it to work. Somebody may be able to get it to work. Obviously the person that wrote the article was able to make it work. And again, it could be our straws. Hack number two, use smaller containers to carry your stuff. You don't need to take your full containers with you when you travel. So I'm going to say that's definitely a hack. Use small containers. Now these containers are probably about a dollar a piece and you have to spend a little money if you're gonna buy them. I prefer the containers I made, they're free. You know, I got my body wash here, I got my shampoo here and I have my gel here. These are free, it just took me a little time to make them and a little bit of material if you wanna count the material, but it's stuff that I already had around the house and didn't need to buy it you need to drink your liquids first and use the tops though to make your containers. And then the final hack, putting plastic over your containers. You could even put them on here if these happen to leak. I don't think they're gonna leak, they're tight. But you use plastic saran wrap to put over here. I'm gonna say that this is definitely a good hack. It's, it's gonna work. I, I know it's gonna work because I added an extra protection of sealing to my containers. 
so it's extra protection just to keep it from leaking and you know if something happens that you have you have them in your roller bag and you have to check your bag because a lot of times there's not enough space on the plane for all the luggage lately and they want to check your bag this goes under the plane it's going to succumb to pressure at 30,000 feet and it's going to cause pressure on these containers so you want them sealed so they don't leak on you thanks for watching hope you learned something i hope it makes your travel easier for you if you have some hacks that you'd like to share please put them in the comments and share them with us and we'll put them in another video again thanks for watching don't for, don't forget to subscribe like and share and we'll see you on the next one we love you